now we will see the relation between the electric current and drift velocity so as you can see from this diagram there is a flow of current yeah so which is opposite to the direction of your flow of electrons so what actually happens for this particular case yeah so we know that so the electric field has been set up across the end of this conductor and we will simply that your E is equals to V upon L yeah now let's say the number of electrons which is flowing through per unit volume it is nothing but n yeah so these are nothing but the number of electrons yeah flowing through the per unit volume so the number of electrons for this cross sectional area a and the length l so this is how you can write it down so this are nothing but your number of electrons so which i will call it as a n a l so again further i will say that the total charge so the total charge carried by them yeah so we can say that it is nothing but n e a l yeah so the total charge carried by all those electrons we can say that then this is your n e that is a and then l is nothing but the length of your conductor okay so this is how we can say that then further we have to actually define that current is equals to which is q upon t for this particular case okay again that time is nothing but we will say that so velocity is equals to distance upon time so time is equals to distance upon velocity okay so then further so let's say that so obviously this distance is nothing but length upon velocity so this is i which is q upon t okay so this is your l upon v and this q obviously we have just defined that yeah so then definitely the total charge yeah so the total charge is n e a l so this is n e a l so that is how we can define this l l get cancel then this is n e a into v so this is nothing but the value of your current yeah so this is nothing but how we can define the value of your current and j is equals to i upon a so this is i n e a v upon a yeah so this is what we can say that so that j is equals to n e a yeah so this n e and this is what we can say about the v d that is nothing but so obviously this is time is equals to distance upon velocity so which is your drift velocity so this j is equals to n e into v d so this is about your this j that what we have defined over here now based on that so we have to just find the relation between that j and e also yeah so based on that we have to just define the relation between that current density as well as at the same time we have to just derive the relation between your electric field also so what we have got so this is j is equals to your n e into v d fine so again for example over here q is equals to obviously we know that it is e over here fine so then we will just find that relation so we will put so obviously this is e that we have written over here yeah then definitely this is n and this one you can write it down so that is your drift velocity fine so according to that minus e square yeah this is your e tau upon m so which is nothing but similarly we have just written this is j and then you will find that the j is equals to actually your sigma into e bar yeah so where i have just seen that that j is nothing but your current density yeah so what we know that so this is your current density then your sigma is obviously your conductivity yeah so this sigma we can talk about or this is nothing but your conductivity and then e is obviously what is what we can call as a electric field over here so this is again a very important relation between this your j sigma and e so that is about your this relation between your electric current and your drift velocity yeah even we just talk about the drift velocity over here so that the velocity with which all the electrons 
will get drifted towards that positive terminal.